Hey everybody, I'm feeling very excited. I have a parcel to open, I have some stuff to talk about, I have uh, news on the next big build and it's going to be awesome. I can't believe I didn't think of this before and this morning it suddenly just popped in my head and I was like, that is what I'm making next. Anyway, let's start with this. I've received two parcels, <clears throat> so I thought I'd just open them up on camera. Oh, there is a note, there is a note. Spicy, here is a sprocket from my Lexmoto Arrow 125. Love what you're doing with the Metalworks. Hope it continues to grow. All the best, all the best for the future, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Very nice of you, that will be handy. It's a nice little one. That's cool, thank you very much, appreciate that. Matt, you're the man. So I've just had to hack the address label off because they wrote um, my real address over the top of it, the post office, because it's a PO box and they deliver to my house. So, just nearly doxed myself. Oh God, what is in here? How do we get in? It's like a box within a box. Dear Spicy, thanks very much for the brake light module. Oh, this is from the guy who won the brake light module. Uh, on my biking videos, I gave away this smart brake light module. Uh, Buggerlugs. So, yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Buggerlugs. Uh, he, he won it. Uh, thanks very much for the brake light module. As soon as we have some warmer weather, I'll fit that to the bike. Um, love the Metalworks vids. And by the way, of thanks, here's a little something to help you along. As well as a few stickers. Shameless plug. <coughs> Just ride bug lugs. Uh, keep up the good work and remember nothing good was made in a hurry. Thanks, man. Bugger lugs. Oh, how sweet. What is this? What is this? It's got a lot of tape. It's like Christmas all over again. It really is because you're opening things and you don't know what's in them. Ooh. Oh, hello. I was, I was expecting a um an old sprocket. What's this? I'm blown away. We've got countersinking bits, a holder, an arbor. These are obviously metal bits, these are wood bits, these are masonry bits. Um, different screwdriver ends, some um, what are they, spade drills. I think I was, are they called spade drills? I think they are. Loads of different... This is... Oh, oh my god, and look, there's, there's little hole cutters as well. I'm just completely blown away by that. That is so thoughtful and generous, thank you so much. That is seriously helpful to an unbelievable level. Oh god, you guys are awesome. They are called Spade Bits, haha. -ha. Bugger Lugs, you're the man, subscribe. This video brought to you by Bugger Lugs, subscribe, subscribe. And I also have a nice hat, which I'll be wearing for the continuation of this video. The new build idea. Yes, I'm building a pillowcase, no. Um, this is one of the reasons support's so important, uh, is because like building this, I'm building this because A, I really want to, because it's gonna be so cool. Uh, and I'm gonna love the videos that are gonna come out of this. I'm really excited about it, as you can tell. Um, but in the time it's gonna take me to make this, I could probably make 10 clocks. So as you can understand, doing this is not the financially best idea, but it is, because it's gonna be so awesome. Right, it just starts with that. I just looked at that the other day and I was just like, what is that going to become? And this is the shaft out of a gearbox from a Vauxhall Corsa but that was put repurposed and put into like a little racing mini and it had been jigged around with. It could be the handle to a very cool lightsaber. You don't really need to do anything. It's just, you know. You could probably use that in a film and no one would question it. <laughs> but no, uh, it's this tapering shape that caught my eye. And basically, can you see where I'm going here? So we're making a sculpture. 
this will be the tail part. There needs to be something of a body in the middle. Um, and I can't help but think that two of these, if I chop the ends off them, clean them up and weld them together, and then drill a hole through the middle, would make a good body in the middle. So, see how it just, just works, the sizing. So we're gonna have to do that to make a body, and then we have to make a head somehow. Then the wings, I have got like 10 meters or more of six mil uh, mild steel rod. So obviously for the wings, mild steel rod bent and shaped to make each wing. I don't think I can go to the, this level of intricate pattern, you know, like, I can't go to that level of intricate pattern. There, there, well, there's a couple of methods actually I thought about. I could go quite minimal, you know, with the outline of the wings and maybe a couple of just the bigger veins. And that's most likely what I'm gonna end up doing. Um, the other option is I put the main veins in and then use copper wire and try and like bend that design between. This is probably going to take the best part of a week to build when you consider I have to film it at the same time. Uh, that's one thing I know. It, it, I can't produce things as quickly if I'm filming because it, it takes up time and then at night I'm editing. Anyway, um, if I go to the point of putting this lattice work in with like copper wire, it would take that just so much longer. But how cool would that be? Uh, obviously it's going to need legs as well. I have got some holes that are already in this that might be handy because I could tap them um, and you know use them for something. It would be a way maybe of attaching the wings. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to make the wings uh, detachable. Uh, so that could be an idea uh, if I was to drill that out further and put a bolt through there and tap it. Uh, but that's going to require buying a tap. Um, but yeah, uh, now I've got the drill press so I can drill holes in things, I can weld stuff. Uh, this could be really cool. I just hope it turns out as good as I'm, I've got it in my mind. Um, obviously we're going to have to build a head on it and stuff, but yeah. That's basically what the next sort of video is going to be the beginning of. Working out what we're going to do, prepping bits together, chopping this, you know. You know, there's just going to be a lot of experimentation basically to get this thing to where I want it to be. And then as I say, if I go to sell it, for the time it took to make, it would be really expensive and thus would not be very easy to sell versus making 10 clocks, which I know I can sell. Um, so as I say, that's why I'm mentioning support so much in this because I've realized that what does me well as an in income doesn't make good for videos. So I've got to try and somehow find a balance in between where I'm selling clocks, but I'm also, you know, getting support so I can continue making videos like this that are a bit more, uh, a bit more advanced. Because this is what will get noticed more on YouTube, you know? So when this, is, when this is done and it is a giant dragonfly with big wings coming out, I'm hoping to have its body like probably like that angle. If you're imagining, off the, if imagining this is the, the surface probably like that. With its legs out and its wings up. Well, out. Sorry, not up. Um, I'll teach you about the difference between dragonflies and damselflies as well because, my God, do people get those confused and it's not difficult. Um, but yes, I think you can understand where I'm going with this. This idea, not only has it inspired me to make this one, I've also now thought of the next two or three things I'd like to make. Uh, as soon as I realised, oh my God, I can make wings out of uh, mild steel rod, my brain has just exploded into ideas. I mean... What about some sort of robotic, weaponized wasp? You know that one will be cool. I don't know if I'm going to use that for it, but... They're all the things that I've got in my mind now, and it's like, the, uh, this is what I want to make, this is it. Um, I think I think you can tell the excitement. I've, I've not been this sort of... for a while. Right, I'm ending it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, and if you feel like supporting me somehow, links in the description, go for it.